one certain time, there was a day I had, Daddy, I had a series of signs of premature death about his life. I slept from 8 p.m. that day. I woke up by 10 p.m. I saw that he died. I, the thing continued for full night. In fact, I woke up, I discovered that tears was in my eyes. I said, this cannot be normal. I traveled straight and I went to pray. And while I was praying, the Lord told me, he said, because you have decided to stand in the gap, now I will make his skin become your skin. That is, anytime before they, the enemies will penetrate him, you have to penetrate me first. You will not understand that mystery. So that means as long as I stand strong, you will keep growing old and can't die premature. I'm not afraid to say it, but it's a gospel truth. Hallelujah. And thank God that God made that possible. Please let me celebrate my father, my biological father, Mr. Peter Igoche. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Amen. Amen. He's a very strong man. Very strong. Praise the Lord. Amen. In as much see them, in as much as the resemblance of I am mommy is showing very well. But if you look at our eyes within me and my dad, you will see it. <laughs> then look at somewhere around this place. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Okay, before I, I usher daddy in, every one of us who are here, the Lord bless you. You are welcome. There's no more time to usher and leave. How many of us enjoy the ministration of the lady from Joss yesterday? Please let me celebrate all oh, Joshi there, please. <laughs> Hallelujah. Wonderful, wonderful. Amen, amen, amen. Amen. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Praise the Lord. Uh, and Daddy, I want to inform you on this, that we, the, the sons of mommy, God, uh, God is using us so much by his message to teach these people the word of God. When we came, we were nobody. Let's the sons stand up. Please, let's try Daddy can see us. We had nothing to do. Amen. We, every one of them, every one of them here can testify. We had, we had no knowledge about the scripture. We had no love for even the ministry, even ministry. But she carried us while we were very, very young. Before we got into the university, she followed us, took us, nurtured us, patient with us. Even while our eyes were not clear that time, she was still patient with us. And she gave us the privilege and this assignment. This our pastor, our administrative pastor currently. Amen. In 20, in 2020, a powerful miracle happened here. In 2020, August program, he was ministering and he spoke a word from the scripture that there is somebody here that who have been expecting God for the fruit of the womb. And a woman who was in the crowd, she said that why he spoke that word, he came into the world and he, she knew that this was a word. And to the glory of God, we recorded that testimony last year. It's a baby twins. Baby twins. Uh, twins came out from that very world. So God has been using us. There are so many testimonies that I would have loved to share, but for the sake of time, God has been using them mindfully. And it came from this lovely woman here. Please help me celebrate. Them. Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you so much, Mommy, for this wonderful privilege. All right, the time has come. If you know your time has come, say, my time has come. Amen. Let me read up towards the scripture. Then I will bring, I will bring fire. Mm. The one that is coming. Uh, John the Baptist said that the one that is coming is greater than I am. So the one that is coming. You, your life cannot remain the same. You will not understand. When, when that one step on the altar, you understand. You, in fact, your faith self will not really matter here today. God, by the anointing of God that is upon his life, your story must change. Listen, I've seen diverse of testimonies all along with this person. 
things that have started following him, I've been seeing God using him mightily. And I've seen the life of story of people change. And I know that your own case will also be the same. God will change your story. For the sake of time, we'll take from verse 3 down to 7. Acts chapter 9. All right. Let's read. And the Bible says, And as he journeyed, he came near Damascus, and suddenly the shine around about him from heaven. Go on. And he fell to the earth and heard a voice saying unto him, So, so. Why what? Why persecute thou me? Go on. And he said, who, who are thou, Lord? And the Lord said, I am Jesus, whom thou persecuted. It is hard for thou to kick against the prick. Go on. And he trembled and astonished and said, What will thou have to And it shall be told thee what thou must do. That's, this one is affecting me. And the man, listen now, listen, listen, this is my emphasis. And the man we journeyed with him stood what? Hearing a voice. But what? Listen, there is every possibility that you will hear that this voice. Listen, but you, nothing might happen to you. Amen. Men were traveling with, with, with Paul. But he was having an encounter. But they were not receiving it. Hallelujah. Don't be that man that will only hear the voice, but that will not have an encounter. Check yourself now and get yourself prepared. Hallelujah. Don't just be here. Don't just attend our God's program. Don't just receive the prophecy that will come from him. Don't just receive the word. But make sure that you have an encounter from the word. The Bible says they heard sound, but they did not see anyone. If you are hearing and you are not seeing, please dive into it to see. Rise up on your feet. Are we ready? Are we ready? On Monday, Daddy came and Daddy said it was only 40 persons that are ready. Ha! For me, I'm saying it's just only one person that is ready. And it's me. Uh, it's me, it's me. I feel it. Overflow! Are we ready? Can we pray to the Lord and say, Father, give me an encounter in this house? Lord, I need an encounter. Let me not appear like those men that were traveling with Paul. And while Paul was receiving his encounter, they received none. The Bible said that they were speechless. Lord, give me an encounter. Can you open your mouth and pray that prayer? I'm, I'm just giving us 20 seconds. Through the ministry of your servant. Give me an encounter. You have 10 more seconds. Through the ministry of his servants. Give me an encounter. In the name of Jesus Christ. With Jesus joy in my heart. Can we please help me welcome my father? With a shout, with a shout, as he step on to be a blessing to us. If you don't shout well, we will not handle the microphone. Hallelujah. Join me, celebrate our mother.
the woman of God. Mommy, we celebrate. Daddy, we celebrate you as well. You see, I'm just meeting Daddy for the first time today. And I can confess to you, I've not seen such a humble man before. God bless you, Daddy, for supporting our mother. A woman was called by God by the name Deborah, and her husband's name is called Lapidot. The Bible recorded Lapidot, the husband of Deborah, respected the grace upon the head of the wife. Not every man will support his wife like our daddy is doing. Can we clap our hands for our daddy? <laughs> Celebrate all the ministers of the gospel in the house. Minister Isaac Praise, Pastor Isaac Praise. God bless you, man of God. We love you. Now, church, celebrate yourselves. <laughs> Hallelujah. Now, let us celebrate the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Celebrate my pastor, Pastor Elijah. Thank you. Thank you. Choir, you're doing a great job. Celebrate your choir. All the instrumentalists, the Lord bless you. Great job. Amen. Now let us celebrate the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Wave those hands. Wave those hands. Wave those hands. Wave it to Jesus. We love you, my Father. We love you, my Father. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. Somebody open your mouth and declare your love for Jesus. Ah, 
Ichigo sinai mujibo Barame ya chineke Kanke toke ni meki Okwaki Okwaki sinike burumbi buwao Okwaki sinike buke kio Mane Ano ni rugi Kanke toke ni Lift up your hand. Hallelujah. I know and I know that whatever challenge that followed you here today, they will not follow you back home. I said they will not follow you back home. Amen. So you must be determined for a change today. Amen. Be determined to have a change. Amen. Like I told you the first day, I said change doesn't come until you change. So you need to change for change to come. Eh? It is only change that can change change. Are we together now? You don't continue doing what you were doing before and expect a new change. You must do something different for change to come. Amen. And so you need to change to invite change to your life. Are you hearing what I'm saying? to come tell them that their secret tears is over. In the name of Jesus. He said those tears that you have been shedding in the secret that nobody knew he said today, I the Lord will remove that tears from your life. <laughs> Lift up your hands. I don't preach until God speaks. It's what he says I do. That's why when people get so astonished, the pastor last night he said to me son when you go i would like you to pray for those five people i want to turn them to become millionaires of this world listen i'm not giving you an information i'm only telling you what god wants to do 
the power of God is mighty over there. This is who my name is. It doesn't matter your family background. Are you hearing what I'm saying right now? If God can pick me from the miracle, from the dustbin, and he's sending me out to the world, then the Lord himself can use anybody. One of the first things he asked me to do is financial mantles. Somebody said to me, Pastor, pray for me. And I said, what do you want? to say, I need money. And as I wanted to pray, the Lord said, no, don't pray. Tell him to shake your hands. And the man shook my hands and I said, as you live here, you are going to start receiving financial miracles until you yourself, you will become shocked. You know, I read the scripture here on Monday when Samuel said to Saul, as you go, you will meet people. They will begin to favor you. I'm not sure Saul believed until it began to happen. Hear me. Before this meeting is over on Friday, you will know that the God of heaven has visited your finances. Amen! Let me tell you, the Lord took me, I shall just try to help me. The Lord took me to the river last night and I commanded the river to vomit your wealth. So, there are people you have been having revelations, you see your money, you see your wealth in the ocean. Do we have anybody of such here? I collected it for you yesterday. Amen. Oceans, oceans, oceans will vomit your wealth. Amen. And there are people whose monies were buried under mango trees. The Lord took me to the mango trees and we brought out the monies. Amen. There are people, the devil put their monies on the tree. The Lord took me there and we collected it. Amen. Are you ready to receive? Yes, sir. Lift up your two hands. Pastor, do we have all shoes? Lift up your two hands. At the count of three, the anointing for financial explosion is going to hit this house. The power is going to hit this house from the front to the back and every one of you will begin to receive you will begin to receive there are people while in this service your accounts will begin to receive alerts lift up those hands lift up those hands and close your eyes Reduce your volume. Reduce it very well. Just very straight. Yes, that's one. Up small. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Father, as I stretch forth my hands, let the anointing for wealth, let it hit these people. For those who believe, let them testify to them. Lift up those hands. All shall help them now. At the count of three, receive it right now. One, two, three. Receive. Receive. Power of the Holy Ghost. From the front to the back. Take it wherever you are. Down to the outside, to the front. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Power in the name of Jesus. Power. Yata ta 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 tika la kateba lika taya. Receive it at the overflow outside. The power of anointing, the power of wealth, it hits you. Somebody go to the overflow and help them over there. Holy Ghost, 
that the power of heaven hit the cloud and let the doors open. I command the doors to open. I command the doors to open. I command the doors to open for your husband. Open for your children. Open in the name of Jesus. Receive it. Take it. Take it. Take it, 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 take it,
I receive. Are you hearing me? Don't pray. Just lift up your left hand and close your eyes. I want to see the children that the Lord has given. Oh, look at that woman over there. They just gave her a baby boy. This young lady just received the baby boy right now. She just received right now. All right, the children are here. One, two, three. Now, take your children. Receive your children. Power from the front to the back. Receive your children. Receive your children. Fire. Take it right now. In the name of Jesus, take your children from the front to the back. Receive your children. Receive twins. Receive triplets. As many as you want, receive them in the name of Jesus. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Daughter. Look at that. 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 My daughter. Look at that. 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 Shut up. Oh, help her, 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 help her. Oh, my daughter. thank you every one of you as you live here this month is what August by September all of you are declared pregnant 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 there's a program we used to have every December. Every September. Eh? In September, the program comes up in two weeks. If you come, you'll be shocked. People will not get womb. They come with children. Even when womb, no day. September is the gestation period for every human being. To be born. So we take advantage of September. God give children like come back and testify. Yeah. Mommy, mommy, even your members that you prayed for for the fruit of the womb, all of them are getting pregnant now. So next year convention, do what we call children dedication because all of you here will come here next year convention with your children in the name of Jesus Christ give the Lord praise as you go back to your seat give him praise give him praise give him praise father we thank you Exodus chapter 34 Verse 27. Exodus 34. Verse 27. I was in the office. That was last year. Hallelujah. Quiet everywhere. Quiet. 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 And a young lady came to my office last year or last two years now because the child is over a year now a young lady came into my office her marriage was about eight years how many years how many years eight they've gone to the hospital they actually told them sorry you can't give birth you and your husband adopt 
children. So somehow, somehow, somebody told her, told her and her husband about God, and then directed them to me. As she came to my office, she said, Pastor, if your God does not give me children, I will kill myself. I'm tired. I said, go and call your husband. So I told the husband, I said, this is what your wife said. Okay, what did you say? Say, Pastor, pray. The woman, the teen, she don't tire. I say, madam, carry my handkerchief, touch your stomach. So I gave her my handkerchief. I say, you can go. He said, Pastor, won't you pray? I say, I have finished praying. <laughs> I have finished. Mirror could not be by force. Amen. Amen. If God wants to do it, if you have the capacity to hear God, He will tell you when to pray and power will move. I wanted to preach. He said, Pray. And that was all. The young lady left. The baby is over here now. Of course, if, if anybody knows our, 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 our ministry is babies, God gives baby to people. Just like the ministry of our mother. God is faithful. Can we clap for Jesus? Don't worry, I'm going to pray. I hear the word arthritis. Arthritis. For who? Your mother. Mama, arthritis? Ma. Sorry. Arthritis. I pray for you. Take your seat. Don't worry. I came here so prepared today. I came here for you. Today and Friday, Olane. There are meetings we go. The Lord will say, don't preach, pray. All through, five hours. But this one, he said, I should tell you something before I pray. That's why I will tell you something, then I will pray. Hallelujah. And what I'm going to tell you today will shock you. It's really unbelievable. But if you can believe the unbelievable, you can see the undesirable. Believe the unbelievable like Abraham and then you will see what you do, don't even desire. Because God can do beyond your desire. Amen. In Exodus chapter 34 from verse 27 to verse 30. Exodus 34 from verse 27 to 30. There is a man by name called Moses. Moses He has a sister by name called what? Miriam. Am I correct? And what's the name of his brother? Aaron. Are we together now? Or can sit back a bit? You can move close to my people. Amen. So one day, Moses left Aaron, left Miriam, left his wife Zipporah, and left his two sons, and went somewhere to pray. Just like you left your Miriam at home. You left your Aaron. Many of you, your Miriam are your children. Many of you, your Miriam or your, your Aaron are your husbands and your wives. Am I speaking to you here? You left them at home. And then you came to this mountain to what? To pray. Moses left Miriam. He left Aaron. He left Zipporah. And he went to pray. Look at the Bible. And the Lord said unto Moses, 
write down these words for after the tenor of these words I have made a covenant with thee and with Israel go ahead verse 28 look up everyone and he was dear with the Lord 40 days and 40 nights this one is 5 days 5 nights are we together are we together five days five nights moses spent 40 days 40 nights <laughs> bible says he neither ate bread nor drank water and he wrote upon the tables of the words of the covenant the ten commandments let me quickly say this to you anytime you go on a love escapade like this with god you go on a love adventure like this with God. You know, anytime you go to pray, you have gone on a love adventure with God. A time of fellowship with the Spirit. A time of koinonia with God. A time of intimacy with God. That's why you left your houses. You left your work. Many of you closed your shops. Just to have time with God. Am I speaking here? Now, anytime, listen very carefully. Anytime you go out like this, Anytime you go out like this to meet God, there are two things you expect to go back home with. Number one, write this out, it's an instruction. There are two things at the end of this convention on Friday or Saturday, there are two things you are going back home with. Number one, instruction from God. What do I say? What do I say? See, wise men look for words. Foolish men look for acts. He made his ways known unto Moses and his act unto the children of Israel. Psalms 107 and verse 7. Also, is it 103 verse 7 or something? He makes his ways known. Psalm 103 verse 7. He makes his ways known unto Moses and his act unto the children of Israel. Look at it. Now, the one who knows the ways of God knows the mind of God. And when you know the mind of God, you cannot miss the frequency of his operation. There is a frequency upon which heaven operates. It's like you sitting down in this auditorium and you want to listen to Radio Benue. Radio Benue operates on 95.0. Am I correct? If you tune to 95.2, you won't hear Radio Benue. Until you tune your radio to 95.0. So the frequency of heaven's operation, if you know it and you key in, you will never miss your target. So anytime you come on a mountain like this to fellowship with God, what you expect to carry back home from here, number one, is instructions. Every time I go on a love escapade with God, on a love adventure to pray, what I carry back that is most important to me is the instructions he gives to me. It is instructions that makes men vital in life. The one that keeps instruction keeps life. Moses went and spent 40 days without eating, without drinking anything, without taking his bath with God. Moses came down with instructions. The Bible calls it the Ten Commandments. He came down with instructions. And that's why anytime you are coming for a program like this, can't come with a biro and a book so that whatever he says, you write it down. Now hear this. It is instruction that guides you into prosperity. It is instruction that guides you into your rest. Upon living here, there are certain instructions on what God will give you to do. Some people will be here. God will say that place where you are doing your business. The moment you live here, back from there. Some will be here. God will tell you the moment you live here, don't sell what you are selling. Sell this one. Some will tell you. God will tell you the time you go to your shop, you go too late. Go early. As you keep those instructions, you discover things just change spontaneously. 
Some of you will be here. You will hear God tell you. The way you give during offering and tithe is not correct. Do it like this. We are in a world where everybody is photocopying. Most especially ministers. Photocopy. A minister can decide to build his ministry along with another ministry. Copying everything they are doing. Are you not hearing from God? Every man has his own instruction. And your instruction leads you to your success. John the Baptist was called to baptize. Everybody went for, to him. Jesus can never baptize one person. People still went to him. Everybody kept to their own instruction. Anytime I teach in ministers' conference, people will start crying. As believers, don't do what everybody is doing. Do what God asks you to do. That is where your result is. Are we together? So you are expected by heaven to live here with an instruction that will better your life. David said to Solomon in Proverbs chapter 4 from verse 1, he said, my son Solomon, sit down and listen to these instructions. Instructions from your father, instructions from your mother. As you keep them, you will become great. The secret to the wealth of Solomon is application of instructions. Proverbs 4. Yea, hear ye children. The instruction of a father and attend to no understanding. Inside the instruction, there is understanding. And the Bible says concerning the children of Issachar who had understanding of times. That know what Israel ought to do. They became commanders. I prophesy to you. After this meeting, you will become a commander. You will become a general in whatever you do. Ensure that you hear God before you live here. If you don't hear God, if they close either Friday or Saturday, you no go. You never finish. What are you going home with? What are you leaving the altar? You went to pray and you left the altar without an instruction. Where are you going? If others are going home, come back. Lord, what are you saying concerning my case? What must I do? Lord, I don't want to leave here empty. Listen to me. If you live here with miracle and without instruction, you are still empty. Miracle cannot keep you forever. What makes a man to shine is the concurrency of the miracle that is appearing in your life. If you receive a miracle today, there is none tomorrow. There is none tomorrow. Next tomorrow, there is none next week. Very shortly, the one you receive will seem dry up. What keeps miracle potent is that you are receiving it every day from God. Inside every instruction, there is a miracle. Moses came down with ten commandments. And that is why today, Israel, no matter how you fight them, you are wasting your time. Because there are instructions guiding them, given by God. You and I, we are the spiritual Israelites. When I say there is nothing the devil can do to me, it's because God is guiding me. How did David won the battle? The Lord is my shepherd. The Lord is the one guiding me. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Because the Lord is there guiding me via instructions. May God give you the instruction that will better your life. In the name of Jesus. Number two. Put it on the board. Moses came down with instructions, the Ten Commandments, from the mountain. But that was not all. Look at verse 29. So strong. He didn't come down with only instructions. The Bible says, and it came to pass when Moses came down from the mountain, from Mount Sinai, with the instructions in his hand, when he came down from the mountain, that Moses did not even know that the skin of his face was shining while he was talking with him. Why do I preach here? Verse 30. Verse 30. Wait. Give verse 30. And when Aaron and all the children of Israel saw Moses, behold, the skin of his face shone, and they were afraid. 
to come near him. Look up. Look up. Quiet. Shh. When men make you up, ask women where they marry, where they do wedding. When wedding is coming, you pay people they call makeup artists, two of us. Answer me now, women. I'm not going to go detail, just answer me. If you answer me quickly, I will, I will stop. <laughs> when wedding is coming, they will hire makeup artists. Am I correct? They will pay 15, 20,000. The person will paint face, put foundation, put concrete. You go put BOP. By the time they are through, the person where you know before, if you see them, you know go know them again. I went for a wedding. They invited me for a wedding. And when my daughter, who invited me, was coming out, the person doing the wedding, I didn't know her. I was I told my wife, I said, who is coming? I said, look very well. I said, I don't know the best way to come. Because they have put one thing for either one day like this. <laughs> Only this one here. Hey! You can use it to sweep the floor. <laughs> but that's not where I'm going. Huh? Quiet, quiet. Quiet. That's not where I'm going. No matter the makeup where you do, before evening the makeup will dry. In fact, you see how foolish human beings are. Somebody will make you up for 20, 25,000 before you sleep. You go wash the thing yourself. If if I pay you, you make me up, I go carry and sleep. Make I know say I use and wear. pay you money, you go do them. I go sit down for two hours. When you finish. After three hours, now me go carry my hand. And then you go become normal again. That is how fake anything that is not from God is. Anything that is not from God, that is how fake it is. When Moses was coming down from the mountain, not be makeup artist make Moses up. It was God that made Moses up. The difference between the makeup from men and the makeup from God is that the makeup of men is temporary and is deceptive. But the makeup from God is permanent and durable. Aaron, Miriam, the children of Israel, that Moses left at home. As he was coming down from the mountain, the Bible said they saw him. And they say, ah, none of them could look at his face. Why? Because the Holy Ghost made Moses up. His face began to shine. His destiny began to shine. Everything about Moses began to shine. Nobody could look at Moses. I don't know who I'm talking to here. Before this meeting is over, before this convention is over, God is going to make you up. 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 Your destiny will change. People that know you, after God is through with you, they will not know you again in the name of Jesus. Take your seat. Let me tell you what will happen. In the book of John Gospel chapter 9, if you read from verse 1 to 9, for the sake of time, there was a man that was born blind from the mother's womb. The man was blind. Now so them born him. So they gave birth to him blind. One day he sat by the roadside begging. And Jesus was passing by. And Jesus decided to make him up. 
Let me show you. Give me verse 5. I will close. Verse 5. As long as I'm in the world, I'm the light of the world. Go ahead, very quickly, no time. And when he had thus spoken, this is the blind man he's talking about. He spat on the ground and made clay of the spittle and he anointed the eyes of the blind man with the clay. Somebody say, Lord, make me up and change my story. Somebody say, Lord, make me up and change my story. Somebody say, Lord, make me up and change my story. The Lord did a clay and he went to the eye of that man who was blind. I'm seeing in the spirit that the Lord is stretching forth his hands to some women inside this church right now and he's touching their womb and giving them children. I'm seeing the Lord visiting Nigerian banks. I'm seeing God in Access Bank. I'm seeing God in Union Bank. I'm seeing God in First Bank. I'm seeing God in FCMB. I'm seeing God in UBA. I'm seeing God working on the accounts of his people. I'm seeing God working on the accounts. Because before you leave here today, you will have a visitation that will shock you. People may not understand. This man was born blind. You are born into a family that is poor. You are not different from this man. You are born into a family that they don't get married. You are not different from this man. You are born into a family of failure. You are not different from this man. There are many of you asking questions. What did I do where I get this kind of problem? What did I do? Why? Why, Lord? My father is poor. My mother is poor. My elder brother, my elder sister. In fact, me, that I'm pushing with Byro, I'm the breadwinner. I want to Jesus. I want to move If you read that Bible, you will discover the Bible says in that John chapter 9, if you read verse 1, you read verse 2, you read verse 3, and you read verse 4, the story is so interesting. The Bible says the disciples came to Jesus. They say, now who sin will make this man blind? Is that not the question that believers have been asking? The Bible says, and the disciples asked Jesus, say, Master, who committed sin that made this man blind? You are asking question. What did my family do that we are this poor? What did we do in my family that we are this sick? What have we done that people are rejecting us? They rejected your sister. They rejected you. They rejected your brother. How about what did we do? If you are asking this question, I came here because of you today. I came to tell you congratulations. I came to tell you congratulations. Because if I be a man of God, after today, your story must change. Your story must change. Your story must change. In the name of Jesus, take your seat. That's not where I'm going. They say, what did we do? What did this man do when in the sofa like this? Ladies and gentlemen, I know you must have gone to a lot of places asking this same question. Pastor, tell us, waiting we do, waiting is not the work. Some of you have even gone to Babalawo. I beg, make one tell us, waiting we go do. This problem, we don't tire. We don't tire. So people, some people have gone to each other. You know, problem drives you to do what you don't want to do. Problem drives you to hate God. Problem makes you not to think of God. These people came to Jesus and said, Master, who is responsible? Let me announce this to you. Believers don't know. It's not every problem that somebody is responsible. 
It's not every problem that your uncle and your great grandfather they are responsible. Many of those things, God is leaving it for a day like this so that his name will be glorified. Many of those things, God left them for a day like this so that his name will be glorified. Let me announce to you, after this service, you will not need to go to anywhere to ask questions again. Because every of your question, my God will answer it from here. In the name of Jesus. Who sinned? Nobody sinned. God only wants to glorify himself. Builders, global ministry, God wants to glorify himself through the ministry. God wants the ministry's name to go into the book of record. The book of Chronicles. That people may know that God is still doing miracles. I always tell people, if your God is dead, if your God is blind, try my God. God knows the same for everywhere. Don't make that mistake. Book of stay house, God, they here. Make me stay house, God, they here. lie. God is everywhere, but his manifest presence is not everywhere. I say his manifest presence is not everywhere. Hebrews 12 from verse 22 to 24. He say, yeah, come to Mount Zion. There is a Zion you must go for you to access what heaven holds for you. Yeah, come to Mount Zion. Psalms 84 verse 7. They say they grow from strength to strength. They, those of them that appear before God where? In Zion. You know what? There are places when you enter things which change. Just Jacob was running from his brother. He was running from Esau. He got to a place. He closed his eyes to sleep. He saw angels ascending and angels descending. It doesn't happen everywhere. There are places that God has chosen to do miracle. Fortunately, Judas Global Ministry is one of them. And that's why I know and I know and I know and I know that before you live here today, my God and the God of our mother is going to visit you and give you a miracle. Take your seat. Who committed sin? Why are we suffering like this? I love the answer in verse 3 and 4. John chapter 9 verse 3. And Jesus I answered. Look up, look up. For those of you that have been looking for this question, you must have paid people. You know, there are places you go, they tell you, pay money before we pray. Are you hearing me? They told the man, the man had a sickness on the inside of him. He's a very wealthy man. He had gone everywhere. He has paid money. He has paid money. And there is no solution. So one time he came to Makodi and they told him, have you seen Pastor Agua? And he said, ah, who is Pastor Agua? I've never heard that name before. They said, go and see him. And they said, they asked him, he said, where? They showed him the place. And he came to our church. As he entered the church, I was sweeping. I'm a sanctuary keeper. That day they came, I was sweeping. Carrying chairs, I was sweeping. So the man came. And he said, sir, I want to see the pastor here. The pastor in charge. I said, okay, sir. What do you want? What do you want to want him to do for you? He said, "No, no, 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 no. Just tell him that somebody came to see him." I said, "Me too. I'm a pastor here, sir. Maybe if you tell me, we may be able to help you." At that point, the man got angry. He said, "I said, sir, that, that, I came here. You don't know what is wrong with you. I came here for a serious business. Show me the man." The man with them they talk about, I won't see him. I didn't know what to do. And I didn't want to tell him that he's before the man. So I said, okay. As I was looking at him, the man thinks more. He said, but I see one picture outside. He'd be like, are you? The picture what I see outside say it be like say, but if now you then power no day here now. 
I'm quoting the man word by word. He said, if not you, then power, how can they say a great man of God like that? No police, they here. For your information, they gave me six. They gave me, they gave me six. The DPO and some commissioners came to our church. They said, no, pastor, you need it. Gave, I said, I don't need it. I'm okay. I'm okay. This morning, they came. I said, no. When he invited me, I came alone for your meeting last Sunday. I, I drove myself. I came alone. I came Wonjo. You saw the way I came Wonjo. So the man said, there, 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 can, there can be no power here. Of course, I was thinking that the man will come with big belly, then with police. And then we, we at least we need to pay something before we can see this great man of God. You know, he started talking. And I said, sir, can you just be patient for a moment? And he said, okay. I said, lift up your hands. We are still standing. As soon as he lifted up, I said, and I turned my back. I went and started sweeping. My peers, the power, the wind that came, a wind came from heaven. It took the man from where we were standing, took him to almost 30 meters. We heard the man was rolling on the floor everywhere, scattering all the chair. I was still. By the time the Holy Ghost was through with him, after like 20 minutes, he woke up. He said, Did I fall? Did I fall? <laughs> Did I fall? The fortunate thing was that he checked the problem. He came and knelt down. He said, Pastor, God is here. God is here. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry, sir. I'm sorry, sir. He brought out money. Brought out there. I said, hold your money. Have a nice day. Come and testify in church. I'm rich. One day I was going to church. I was on Okada. Okada. Sometimes when you see me, you don't go know me. I sit down for Akada, cool. My Akba that day, they inside Akada, they think they kill and look, 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 look. When I go to church sometimes, I think go say, which kind man be this? Okay. No, for, forget this suit. I know they wear suit. Isaac Press can say, my son, I know they wear suit. The team plenty, I know they wear. So I promise some people, okay, I say I will wear some. You know, you know, you know, you know, you know, ministry have been reduced to suit. That's why some of us will be wearing short nicker and jeans. Amen. Jesus made a clay. He anointed the eyes of the man. Immediately the man's eyes was anointed. His life changed. Everything about him changed. Where I am going will shock you. People began to ask questions. Can the man be this? Give me Bible John chapter six, 9. From verse 7, 8, 9. Note. Okay, from verse 8. The neighbors therefore and they which before had seen him that was blind said, Is not this he that sat and begged? Wait. Which means they could not recognize him again. Something don't change. Level don't change. Before you live here. Before you live here. The God who decorated this man. The God who made him up. Is going to make you up. Is going to make you up. Is going to make you up. God is going to make you up. Maybe they said, ah, this woman can never be pregnant. 
listen to me. You can only hide pregnancy for three months. After the fourth month, people go see him. After the fourth month, the thing goes show. In the next four months, for everyone we prayed for, for the fruit of the womb from here this morning, in the next four months, you will carry your pregnancy. It will show. People began to ask. Don't be the man who sit down the bed with this. Don't be him with this. Don't be him with this. Is this not the, the man? Don't be the man with the bed with this. Can I say this to you? If I be a man of God. If I be. Ah, my God. Look at what I just remember. A man came to my office. And the man said to me, Pastor, we have had this and this and this. And this. I said, what do you want? And he said to me, I want this, I want this, I want this. And I said, I have finished praying for you. If I be a man of God, I said to him, I said, I put my grace, the unction given to me, I put it on the line. If this thing does not happen to you in five days, I'm not a man of God. Elijah said, before the Lord whom I stand, levels changed. Hear this, before I came here today, I saw lots of miracles happening here. I saw angels happening here. They came to make you up. One, two, three, four, five. Between now and Sunday, 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 you will run to this altar to testify. Mama, let me pray for you. Stand there, stand, stand. The Lord said to me to tell you he has remembered your children. Stand up, stand up, stand up. Don't, don't, no problem. Say he has remembered your children. The Lord said I should tell you that from today it will be new song. <laughs> new song. There is a new song going on here. And the same way God is doing it for her, for every one of you here. God is giving you a new song in the name of Jesus. While they were asking questions, they say, is this not the man that sat and begged? I love John chapter 9 and verse 9. I love verse 9 so much. Some said, this is he. Others said, he is like him. But he said. Some said. It looks like him. Other people said, it's not him. And the man said, somebody say, I am here. Somebody say, I am here. Somebody say, I am here. When you leave this mountain, God will turn you to a question in the heart of everybody that know you. And that is why, listen to me, that is why you need the Holy Spirit. Everything I am telling you is possible. Only through one means the Holy Ghost. Only through the Holy Ghost. Hear what the Bible says. In Isaiah chapter 32 verse 15, 16 and 17. The Bible says, until the Spirit be poured upon you from on high. The wilderness will not go. Until the Holy Ghost comes, levels don't change. He said the wilderness will not become a fruitful field. Neither will the fruitful field become a forest until the spirit be poured. 
In other words, there is no other way to success except through the Holy Ghost. I love verse 16. He said, then, when the Spirit comes, judgment shall dwell in the wilderness. Your wilderness is your problem time. Your problem needs to be judged for your vibration to come. I prophesy today, God is about to judge barrenness in your life. God is about to judge frustration. Then judgment shall come in the wilderness when the spirit comes. When the spirit comes. And this is where the teaching came in. How to stimulate your change. You stimulate your change by encounter with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Take your seat. Write these four things down. Let me close. The dimensions of the operation of the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost operates in major dimensions. But among all, I will mention four major dimensions. Four major dimensions of the operation of the Holy Ghost. How he operates. Number one. He operates as a wind. Wind. Oh. Two. He operates like fire. Three. He operates like a dove. And four. He operates as a helper. Among many dimensions of his operation, he operates in four major. Among many, as a wind, as a fire, as a dove, and as a helper. In John chapter three and verse eight, I won't have time to preach all this. Anyway, I stop. I stop, and then I will pray. In John chapter 3 verse 8 The Bible said the Holy Ghost is likened to a wind The wind blow Where it listed He said you can hear the sound of the wind But you can't tell where the wind is coming from Neither can you tell where the wind is going He says so is the man that is born of the spirit. Look at Ezekiel 37 verse 9. Ezekiel 37 verse 9. Then said he unto me, prophesy unto the wind. Prophesy, son of man, say to the wind, thus said the Lord, come from the four winds, O breath, and breath upon this slain, that they may live. That is the Holy Ghost. Come, remember in Genesis chapter 2, if you read from verse 7 or 2 to verse 9, when God created man, man was not a living thing. He breathed his breath upon man. A man became a living soul. The Holy Spirit operates as a wind. He says, speak to the wind so that the wind will blow. Let life come. These are dead bodies. There are dead destinies in church. There are dead careers in church. There are wombs that are dead in church. This is where I tell people, when you go to the hospital and they tell you, sorry, we can't help you. They are right. Everything done by human is limited. Every machine they use in doing tests in the hospital is done by a man. It is how the man programs the machine that brings out the result. It is not the spirit that programmed the machine. The spirit is higher than man. So when you have a report in your hands and they tell you this report, uh, there is nothing we can do about it. There is no need for you to cry. If you can call on the four winds, the wind of the Holy Ghost, your levels and your stories must change. 
And that is why I am praying this afternoon that God will send the wind over your business. He will send the wind over your business. He will send the wind over your life. God is giving you a new life in the name of Jesus. Zechariah 6 and verse 5. The wind. Zechariah 6 and verse number 5. You will like it. The angels answered and said unto me, These are the four spirits of heaven which go forth from standing before the Lord of all the earth. The four spirits. The four wind is the four spirits of God. They move. They move. Now hear me. Anybody that have vowed that you will not build your own house. I send the wind of the Holy Ghost to remove their own roof. I send the wind to remove their own roof. Hear me. Anywhere they have carried your blessings to. I call on the wind to blow your blessings back. The Bible said the wind blew and it brought the quails. It brought everything Israel needed. The wind will blow and bring everything you need. Let me hear your amen like thunder. Jeremiah 151. The Holy Ghost operates like a wind. Now listen very quickly. Let me close here. The wind has four or five major characteristics so that you know the dimensions of the spirit. The wind has five characteristics. Number one, the first characteristics of the wind, which you can see very clear operating in the Holy Ghost, is that the wind cannot be predicted. You can't predict a wind which way it will flow. Now like this wind will go today. You can't say it. The wind is an autonomous entity. It operates the way he wants. You can't predict him. This one that everybody can tell what you will be tomorrow is because you are not born of the spirit. Somebody can look at you and tell you now so you go end. In my lifetime somebody saw me. That time I was already born again. I gave my life to Christ in 1999. I got so intimate with God. Somebody looked at me and said to me, he said, Agbo, <laughs> he said, why you they disturb yourself? The same way your father suffer for village. Now so you go suffer, go join them. Ladies and gentlemen, wait! Don't say blood of Jesus. No talk like, wait! Quiet! Let me talk to you. Many of you don't say blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Nothing change. So don't waste the blood. Don't waste it. Leave it. Don't waste the blood. Use it for something good. Blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus. Leave it. The man said to me, when I left my village, I left with bathroom slippers, with a jeans and a small bag. Nothing inside. I was going to just to look for admission into the university. 1995. I left with a small bag. My father is still in the village. I left with a small bag, few clothes inside after my secondary school. They blocked my admission. With all my grades, everything, they blocked it. Did everything. No. Struggle started. I had to leave the university, went to the polytechnic. It was later I had to go to the university. When I met God. Somebody looked at me and said to me, Say the same way your father ended in the village. By grace, I can stand there call if I make a call. One day some boys were doing something around my house. I didn't I didn't know that God has blessed us more. So I picked my phone and I made a very little call, two seconds. It was that day I said, okay, there's no need for me to talk anyhow again. I not be the person where I think I be. I don't pass that level. 
We are not braggarts. We are not proud people. If your church is too, we invite a go. If God say make a go, I go go. Nobody has come to invite me, come and preach in my church, and I will ask you how many congregations. I have never. I have never. There are men of God, you go to them. They will tell you, what is your congregation? The moment you tell them the congregation, they will tell you how much you will give them. Oh, I'm the one telling you. They will, they will tell you. Before I come, drop this one. I invited somebody to our church. The person said, Pastor, pay, transfer this to my account before I come. Then when I come, we will now talk. If now one, if the Lord say go, I will go. People will come to me and say, Pastor, no, you are, you are not doing well at all. You are spoiling the thing. Somebody looked at me and said to me, when I met God, I began to pray. I said, Lord, what is, what is the problem? By grace, without bragging. Inside this land, 2003, 2004, 2005, 26, 27. If you see some of those flashy cars they used to park along the road, my own day inside. I was blessed in Makodi. God blessed me financially in this land. I was one of the young billionaires in Makodi, 2003, 4, 5, 6, 7. Before I went to Abuja, 2, 8. I have five cars. I was not married. Not my mind, not uh, I'm not saying that not Jalopi, no. I was I was among the people that first bought convertible car in this land. That in Makodi that time when you park good car, people will stand. Now the boy will Papa no be anything I get Unpredictable. Why? Because I met God. I told God, I said, I will not end the way my father ended. Something must happen in my life. And I began to take steps. I began to take steps. Ladies and gentlemen, you need to know my steps. I didn't just say blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus and relax. The person told me to my face, told me for my back. 2001. Two years after I was born again. So I went and sat down. I said, Lord, Ujoje look after. Ujoje look after. How do I change this thing? And the Lord said to me, One, now that you are born again, anything I tell you to do, do. I said, Okay, sir. Anywhere I tell you to go, go. I said, Okay, sir. I began to serve God money will come to my hand, bundle like this plenty. The Lord will say, carry all, go and drop on the altar. I go hold and they cry. When I drop them, I go down. I cry, cry, cry. I've done sacrifice uncountable numbers of times. I will do it, I will be crying. Ja, physical cry, not be saying at this thing. One day they paid me one huge amount of money. I closed my ears. I said I was going to Lagos to buy a car. So I closed my ears. The Lord said, even if you close your ear, you never close your heart. Go. Drop it on the altar. Hey! But as I obey, I discover if I obey, if you give 100, 200,000, 300,000 on the, on, the, on the altar, what will come in will now become millions. And then he will allow you to buy some things and test you again. <laughs> Once upon a time I sat down, I was inside my house one morning, 2004. I was inside my house one morning, 2004. I heard bang, 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 bang on my door. I opened my door. I saw my father and my mother. Odine. I said, 
We heard that you went and bought a car that armed robbers will kill you today. That's why we came. We are the motor day. We are the motor day. And then they saw one I packed like this. They said, This one, you are selling it now. I said, Okay. We removed the car from there straight to Ashafa Motors. Sold it. I didn't argue with them. If God can turn a nobody, I don't know of anybody's story, but I know my story. My mother gave birth to us, we are about 11. No food. I was a woman to my mother. I buy maggi, I buy salt, I buy pepper. The story don't change. I have a younger brother, I have a younger brother, I have a younger brother, I have a younger brother. All of them are wealthy. So if we are going home, our compound, nowhere to pack motor. Our house right now, no, I have not. I, tell, I say I never build. There is no place to build again. My younger brother, my younger brother, my younger I never build. Now if I won't build, what thing will happen? I don't go die. <laughs> May God mesmerize the devil. May God mesmerize the devil. May God surprise you in this land. Born again to the call. Praying in tongues. Obeying God to the latter. God carried me small, 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 small. 2007, 2008, I was in Abuja. Get me a mighty office. Have six people working for me. I was studying my Bible. The Lord said, move to back to Makodi. I want to talk to you. I said, no, Lord, if you want to talk, talk for Abuja here. Abuja here, where I don't come. Where you don't establish me. Talk for me here. He said, go back to Makodi. I said, no, Lord. Ah, Makodi, I don't pass the level now. He said, I'm taking you back to Makodi. Ladies and gentlemen, God brought me back to Makodi 2007. I obeyed him. I got to Urukun Randabar. I said, Lord, what are you saying? He said, listen to something. I heard something. In Living Faith Church. He said, go there. I went there. They sent me into the bush as a bush pastor for five years. When I came out from the bush as a bush pastor, I was as black as this. At that point, my father called my mother, Antonia. Because that point... 1,000 and no get again. All the monies I brought back, he told me what to do with it. I carried all. Shh. My suit, he will tell me to give it to a farmer. The next day I will be coming, a farmer will carry my suit and be going to the farm. My shoe, he will say I should give it to somebody. The next day I'm coming, they are carrying it to the farm. I was the pastor in charge of Living Faith Church in Bakia. I was there. There's a place called Umbakia, the Gondo community. I don't know who know there. Go there, ask them who is Pastor Abu. I traveled three, four hours every day to go for service. How I was going, I didn't know. So one day, I met my father. I went home. That time, I don't get clothed again. I only one suit I carry. And if you see the suit, you will know that God has done me well. That my suit, that time I bought it from Wadata, where then they sell for ground. So the suit is an usher and a protocol. Because the suit today like this, if I wear an so I be. So I got home. And if anybody wants to talk, I will tell the person, don't worry, I will change your story. I will build house for you, I will buy car for you, I will... <laughs> So I got to my father said that I have fasted, he play food don't go. My father said to my mother, 
I sat with him in the evening. We sat down. And I was telling him, I said, Papa, I'm going to build a house for you. I'm going to buy a car for you. I'm going to change. As I'm talking, he will check my shoe. He will check my shoe. <laughs> he will check my head. So when I left, I didn't know. This thing I'm telling you, this last story now. I knew this story about four years ago. Because nobody told me. He called, he called the meeting behind me. He said, your son is running mad. Nobody is talking. <laughs> this boy is already mad. Nobody they talk. You know, no go carry and go hospital, go check him. I did tell you, Nana. <laughs> Nana, they say anything. This boy is mad. Somebody left his work in Abuja. Everything he has, he gave all out. Say, God, call him. Which God call him? I so called they call people. Who could not go check up? Who could not carry this boy? Go hospital now. Nobody told me. I was still praying. But at the appointed time, I've driven close to six cars. I didn't buy one. All given to me, Makoti, free of charge. I didn't buy one. I have received papers of land. Lands. Lands. I didn't say lands. Our pastor is here. At the appointed time, all the things they needed. I carried one. I gave him. They gave me another one. I carried it. I gave him. He has two cars. My father. So we are doing three years anniversary. He came. And he saw him. It was after the service that they came to me and said, This was what happened so, 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 so years behind you. May the Almighty God, may the Almighty God, may He change your story in the name of Jesus. I went for a meeting in Abuja. Take your seat. This is my story. I went for a meeting in Abuja. The meeting filled with professors, doctors, palm sex, this and this. And then they invited me to. When it was my turn to speak, as I got up and spoke, did my presentation. After the meeting, the workshop, some people came to me. He said, are you the son to Professor Agbo? Minister Agbo? This, this Agbo? I said, no, all this name on the call, no, My father is Farmer Agbo. <laughs> My father is what? <laughs> I know they were asking in their mind, then how did they come here? Because it's a high class meeting. I don't want to go into details. By grace, God lifted up small, small. And this place where we are is the least ever. Our story is about to change. I prophesy to you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, may God change your story today. Any level they think you will end, may you go 10 times that level in the name of Jesus. Number two characteristics of the wind. The wind is indispensable. Indispensable. In other words, you can't do without the wind. You need the wind to live. If you must live, you need the wind. You need air. If air go now, you don't die. Am I correct? You need the wind to live. You need the wind to be relevant in life. It's indispensable. From today, nobody will be able to do any meeting again without you. Number three, I'm not, I'm not, let me rush it quickly. Number three, the wind is unstoppable. Who can stop you? You think your father or, or your, the witchcraft from your village can stop you? They can't stop you. Somebody said they can't stop me. Somebody said witches and wizards cannot stop me. Say it louder like your minute. Revelation 7 and verse 1. It's only God that can stop a believer. 
It's only God that can stop a believer. Revelation 7 and verse 1. Only God can stop a believer. No man born of a woman can stop you. Am I speaking here? Your life is changing in the name of Jesus. Number three. Number, number three. Is it three or four now? Number four. The wind. The effect of the wind is undeniable. When the wind passes, you go not say it pass. Am I speaking here? This one that you enter your village, nobody knows say you come. This one you enter, you come out, nobody knows say you come. It is not of God. After today, even where you live in Makodi, people will know that somebody is living there. In the book of Songs of Solomon, chapter 4 and verse 6, the wind is undeniable. The effect of the wind cannot be denied. In Psalms 14 and verse 7, you will discover, Psalms 147 and verse 18, you will discover that the wind, its effect cannot be denied. And the last, which is number 5, the wind is indestructible. You can't destroy wind, can you? Can you destroy wind? Can you destroy wind? That is how nobody will be able to destroy your life. And finally, number six, the wind cannot be catch. You can't catch wind. Anybody thinking they will catch you, the person has failed though. Because from today, from today, from today, from today, anybody pursuing you to catch you, God will catch them in the name of Jesus. Stand up on your feet. Lift up your hands to heaven. Lift up your hands to heaven. And give him praise. Give him praise with your two hands lifted up to heaven. Give him praise. Give him praise. Say, Father, I thank you. Say, Father, I thank you. Lift up your voice. I am like a wind. I cannot be stopped. I am like a wind. I cannot be caught. I am like a wind. I cannot be destroyed. I am like a wind. I cannot be predicted. I am like a wind. My effect is undeniable. Lift up your hand. In the name of Jesus. Let me help 21 of you. When we started our ministry, we started without any money. People were laughing. Seven years ago, our ministry is seven years. We started without one naira. People were laughing. from this land. He said, the same way you come, now so you go wrong, come out. Somebody came to my office. The same person attended our service about two years ago. And the person stood on his feet throughout when I was preaching. Say, Pastor Boy is a man of God. Pastor Boy is a man of God. Pastor Boy is a man of God. He didn't say, I don't forget. I never forget. From today, every mockers of your life, may God disgrace them. But hear me. Quiet everywhere, no time. I want to help 21 people. You're going to receive the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is not only praying in tongues. Though. There is nobody the Holy Ghost fall on him that you don't have an evidence. The Holy Spirit, don't be praying. Not most praying in tongues are lies. As a pastor, I've discovered I, there are people I knew about six years ago. They said they are, they, are, they are born again, they are children of God. I said, okay, let us pray. You hear? Seven years ago, I saw you see the talk today. You never change. After seven years, no be tongues with that. The tongue of God changes. And before you know, the effect is clear. If a man who is born of the spirit stand there and the other one who is not born of the spirit, you will know the two of them by the effects. One carry glory. It is the Holy Ghost that will shut up the mouth of the lion. It is the effect of the Holy Ghost. Fire the bonfire. When the three Hebrew boys were sent into fire, it is because they are already fireized. They are already the Holy Ghost. They have fire. That's why when they enter fire, fire come down. From today. 
May whatever the enemy project over your life, may he die in the name of Jesus. Lift up your two hands. 21 people will receive the Holy Ghost. With the effect of praying in tongues. And then the Holy Ghost in turn will give them the kind of miracle they have never seen before. If you came here with any sickness, those people with arthritis, the Holy Ghost is about to come. He's the healer. Lift up your hands. 21 people. You will receive the Holy Ghost right now. Lift up your hands above your head. Pastor, let me have a few ushers go. Five minutes. 21 people will receive the Holy Ghost. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. Father, from the front to the back. From the front to the back. Let 21 people, let them have an encounter with power. Down to the people outside at the overflow. Those are the overflow. Let the power of God hit them. Let the power of the Holy Ghost hit them. Let their life change. Let them begin to do what they could not do before. Let the Holy Ghost begin to help them. Lift up those hands now. At the count of three, the Holy Ghost will hit you. It's like fire. It's like fire. It's fire. The wind is going to blow. Are you ready right now? Lift up those hands above your head. Are you ready now? Somebody's story is about to change now. This is your time. At the count of three, the power will hit you. You will begin to pray. Fire will hit this house. Fire will hit this house now. One, two, three. Holy Ghost! Holy Ghost! Receive! Receive the power! Receive the Receive, 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 receive. 21. All shall help them. Wherever they are, receive the power of the Holy Receive the power of the Holy Ghost. Receive his power. Somebody over there, receive the power. Somebody there, receive the power. Somebody at the overflow, receive the Holy Ghost. Somebody help the choir. Help the choir. Help them everywhere. The Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost, Isaac Press, help Papa there. Help Papa stand by Papa now. The Holy Ghost, genuine, genuine, realistic power. Flow, 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 flow. Yes, yes, yes. Those of you standing, lift up your hands, lift up your hands. Look at the Holy Ghost, keep moving. Look at him moving. Look at him moving. He's upon that young lady. That's right, that's right, that's right. Look at him. Look at him, look at him, look at him. Look at him. He's upon the young lady over there. Yes, young lady. Receive him, receive him, receive him, receive him. Fire, yeah, 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 yeah. Receive him. Power. Take it. Take him. Take him. Take him. A change has come. A change has come. A change has come. A change has come. People will no longer laugh at you. Something is about to happen. Look at that mama over there. Look at that mama over there. Mama receive the Holy Ghost. 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 Oh shall help them there. 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 No access to vision. God is about to pour vision. Most of you will begin to prophesy. Success will begin to come to you. Lift up your hands. Lift up your hands. This section, this particular one, this is the gift of prophecy, the gift of vision. Your eyes will open. Your ears will open. You will begin to see. You will begin to dream dreams. 
you begin to hear the voice of God. Lift up those hands. Lift up those hands. Lift up those hands. Lift up those hands.